Okay, in this quick video, we're going to look at the basic importing functionalities within the geodatabase that you've created. Again, once you've created your geodatabase, you want to populate it. And sometimes it's very simple uh, to, to move things into it, but what I'm going to use today is an import function to bring in uh, text files. In this case, uh, Dr. Stapleton's sample locations, which are in a CSV file format, and I, gotta, I wanna get them in as a table into our geodatabase. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click on our geodatabase, and I'm gonna go to our import option, and I'm gonna go to table single, because in fact, the CSV file is a table. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm going to select the file, and so there we go, sample locations and I'm going to click Add. And then the output table, I'm going to uh, name it again, Sample Locations, and I'm going to put WGS84 because that's what I know Dr. Stapleton collected them in. You'll notice that below here, we see the field map, which tells us what uh, fields are going to be mapped into the new table. Uh, site is text, um, the longitude is a double precision, as is the latitude. All right, and so everything looks okay. I'm gonna click on okay. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, it's saying table to table, and I get an answer that says, yep, it's done. And now you'll notice that inside my geodatabase, I have a table, and I can in fact look at it and see that yes, in fact, all of the information is there. All right, so again, that's importing a table. Now we could have imported multiple tables. You'll notice that if I go back to this, I'm going to just open up the import options. You'll notice that imports allow us to import feature classes, and so those would be uh, point line or polygon shape files. Uh, we could do those singly or multiples. I can grab multiple ones and populate it. Uh, tables the same way, and also raster data sets. Again, we'll look at those later in the semester, but they all function kind of the same way, and that is to bring data into our geodatabase so that it resides in our single file structure. Okay, that's it for this time.